nine extra officers yesterday. We have 15 special law enforcement officers who graduate the police academy on Friday, tomorrow. In addition to that, we're in the process of hiring 24 additional special law enforcement officers. 20 of that is being paid for from a grant from the CRDA. We're doing the background for them now. This is things that were in the works, but it's, you know, it's just coming forward right now. So they'll start the academy in May. We won't have them for the summer, but we'll have them after the summer. We're also going to put out a uh, job opening for anyone who's already a certified special law enforcement officer to fill in any vacancies that we have in addition to those 24 that we're doing backgrounds on right now. We have two. Oh, we talked about a substation on the boardwalk. The mayor and I have been in talks with CRDA about possibly putting a substation on the boardwalk, but I have to say that is in the very early stages of those discussions. Uh, we talked about our resources, how in the wintertime we shift those resources to where uh, we need them the most, Atlantic Avenue, uh, Pacific Avenue, those areas, and then as the summer season warms up and more individuals go to the boardwalk, those resources get shifted towards the boardwalks. So that's something that was in the works uh, prior to this, but of course we're doing it right now. Uh, the other thing we talked about is a couple grants that we got. So we have a grant from the Department of Justice called Embedding Mental Health Clinicians within a Law Enforcement Agency. I think that's going to be very big for us, where we'll have two mental health clinicians from Jewish Family Services who will be partnering with our mental health outreach officers, and they'll be engaging the at-risk population on the boardwalk, on the beach, in throughout the tourism area, and the rest of Atlantic City. We might have issues with homelessness, with alcohol, uh, with drugs. And we also have a grant called uh, Innovations in Policing, which pays for stationary license plate readers at every entrance and exit to Atlantic City. That was a $690,000 grant. The Mental Health Clinician Grant was a $740,000 grant. We also made some technology upgrades for a new CAT RMS system and all the patrol cars that's actually being installed this week. Installation will be completed on Friday. Uh, that'll allow our officers to stay out in the field longer doing the reports and not have to come back to the station. We're also in the process of giving our officers who are on foot patrol cell phones, which will then log their GPS locations. Dispatch, when they dispatch a call, they'll see exactly where the officers are. I can get them to the scene a little bit quicker. Uh, and we have new body-worn cameras that will be implemented all throughout the police department to the uh, uh, to the, all the officers on the boardwalk, on foot patrols, or the Axon Body 3 cameras, better audio, video, better video. So some of the things that we have in the works that I think are going to pay big dividends in the future. Okay. And also, Wayne, we're going to continue to, to have